Da soli è musica, in tanti è festival. Heineken Jamming Festival. 16 giugno, The Fash Mode, Negramaro, Morrissey, Hard Five, Goldfrapp, Finlay. 17 giugno, Metallica, The Darkness, Avenged Sevenfold, Lacuna Coil e in diretta su Maxi Schermo Italia USA, ore 21, Heineken Jamming Festival. Ciao, you were just arriving in the band, I guess, like it was when you when you came to Heineken first time, kind of. A newborn, yeah. yeah. And, exactly. And then Mr. La Lars Ulrich. 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 So nice to have you here yeah. again. Thank you, thank you. How are you doing? How and was the flight? We're doing great. Yeah, we awesome. came in from London. We've been yeah. up in London for the last week and a half with the families and the kids and everybody. So we're kind of staying in London and just flying in and out every day, which is nice. Yeah. years with Bob Rock and then Rick Rubin how did you decide to work with him well you know it was pretty much the same thing that brought us to Bob uh, in the first place 15 years ago in that Bob at that time was making all the great rock records he was making Motley Crue and the cult and David Lee Roth and worked on the Bon Jovi records we're like this guy's making all the best records at the moment so 15 years later Rick is now with Slipknot and System of a Down and the Red Hot Chili Peppers and everybody's making the best records at the moment. And, you know, we've made five records with Bob. We know each other so well. He really felt that it was time for us also to move on because he didn't really know what else he could offer us. And after 15 years, it was just time for us to um, work with some different energy and some different dynamics, you know? That means that th the record, I mean, it's made apart from the titles or all the songs are complete. Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're, okay. we'll, be, we'll be writing, <coughs> excuse me, we'll be writing up through probably October, maybe, give or take, we'll see. When Rick tells us we're ready to record, we've just handed the whole thing over to Rick. At some point, Rick will go, okay, let's go record, you're ready. And then we'll go, okay, Rick, and then we'll go record. I'd probably say it'd be this fall sometime. Give me an L! Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double the time! Ooh! understand one thing right now you're working on a new record which will be out like 2007 I guess yeah probably sometime next spring or summer yeah all right but you're touring as well is that an escape from the studio like 11 absolutely, years ago absolutely <laughs> there's a uh, there's no better time to go on tour than when you're making a record get out of the studio and go have some fun sweat a little bit play uh, feel the music get to play with each other and stuff it's it's great and to be come over i mean there's no better time to be in europe and in italy and germany and every than in the month of june mm. be over here with the soccer football and and with everything that's going on play all the festivals see all the other bands it's in, in the greatest three weeks we've had so much fun oh yeah Ooh. Just get out home, put your 
your face upon that cross. There's been so much hoopla this year because of the 20th anniversary of Master of Puppets, so we thought we would uh, try something we'd never done, mm. which is play the whole album from start to finish. We've actually been doing it on every date of uh, this tour, so I would say the chances of that happening tonight are very, very big. I just remember the crowd being up on the side there, kind of on the hillside and everything here. It's an amazing venue. It's an amazing event. And the Italian um, fans are just so warm. And it's been a wonderful challenge for us, you know, as a band, as a rhythm section. And it's made us a better band, too. I really believe that. The dynamics of that album have really uh, have spiced things up in our uh, in our show the italian fans are so vocal and they're so embracive and they're so welcoming and you always feel from the minute you go from the minute you land basically in italy you feel so welcome and um this is the italian hospitality so we always feel extra warm and fuzzy when we come to italy the new songs that we're writing are probably they're a little less uh one-dimensional there's probably a little more variety in some of the newest stuff that we're doing Playing Master of Puppets in its entirety has kind of put some of that stuff back in our minds with the dynamics and the melodies and so on. It was really important for us to make San Anger as a statement and the brutality and the one dimensionality of the record was very important, but I think the next record's gonna be a little more varied. Lars, I remember the first time I interviewed you, you told me that you came, to, you went to United States because you wanted to be a tennis player because you used to play tennis. Have you ever imagined all these magic things happening to your life? No, it's, it's way more than obviously that even in your imagination you can think of. So, um, and all, but the, the best thing about it is we're finally at an age now where we're actually appreciated. You know, we're all in our early 40s and, you know, we have kids and more on the way and this and that. And it's just, you know, finally at a point in your life where you can really sit down and go, oh my God, this is so amazing. You know, like... Mm. You know, like Bono says every night when he comes out on stage, the first thing he says to the audience is, thank you for giving us this life. And I think that's every night when I'm on stage, I think that. Even though I can't go up and say it, I just go, this is so amazing. So. Wow, che bello. It's always a great pleasure meeting nice you, Mr. You. Ulrich. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, Ciao, Robert. You take care. How do you say, que te vaya bien? Si, si, che te vaya bien? Ok, so enjoy tonight, we'll I'll definitely time, will yeah. enjoy that. Yeah, thank okay. you. Eh, con i Metallica finiscono questi due giorni di fuoco, è proprio il caso di dirlo dall'Aineken Jamming Festival. Alla prossima, ciao.